Now you should follow suit and just get to the back People gon' talk either good or it's bad I see people gon' talk either good or it's bad Hey guys, okay, so if you're here, you probably watched my last video with me taking down my box braids. Hey, maybe you didn't watch my last video and you just need to see a wash routine. But I just took down my box braids. I literally had them in for six weeks roughly. As you can see, they are pretty like, I got dreadlocks. This is loose as dreadlocks, you see these? So I'm gonna show y'all how I get rid of all of these knots, nurse my hair back to health. Stick around if you want to see my routine. So you definitely want to make sure you use a wide tooth comb because you're going to get a lot of these little tank leaves out. So I'm going to start by first washing it at least two, three, maybe 15 times. Okay. Oh, oh that was hot. First. I'm just gonna start by wetting my hair and just getting the water all through it so it can be fully wet and like soaking my whole head in water because that's important. I need my whole head to be drip, drip, dripping wet. Now I'm gonna start with some shampoo. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit on my hands and just scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh yeah, I like that. You feel nice and good. Get it all in there, scrub. I needed some more. It wasn't enough. Yep, had to put some more in there because you know, it needed to be foamy. Yes. Sorry, y'all, I thought I was in the um, Head and Shoulders commercial. I look good, don't I? Yes. Mm. Sexy. All right, anyway. So, yeah, just washed it out. That was the first little wash through. That was cute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we finna go again. Now, this time I just put the whole bottle to my head because that whole little put it in my hand stuff was not working. So, I'm scrubbing. I'm scrubbing. Scrub. Y'all don't even understand. It was just like, I mean, it's six weeks. It had been six weeks since I had them box braids in. So yeah, I'm scrubbing, I'm scrubbing. Now I'm just rinsing it off because I'm gonna have to do this a couple more times, like I said, y'all. At least two more times. All right, so now I'm gonna do it again, straight to the head again, cause you know, it's not really, this is not for the week. I really have to scrub. All right, now I'm gonna start detangling. Um, this honestly took so long, like literally, I don't even understand how my hair, it was this tangled, like, but I guess after six weeks of having your hair braided up into a style, it can get pretty knotted. So I'm starting from the ends and working my way up. You never want to start at the root and then go down because you'll lose a lot of hair that way. I mean, you're going to lose hair anyway because it's a lot of dead hair that you got to get out. But uh, yeah, act like that. But uh, you want to start from the ends and work your way up. Now I sectioned my hair off because it was just too much to do all at one time. So I did it in like fourths. So now I'm at the back. Yes, as y'all can see, I am working, working. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. The seconds way too long, way too long. I mean, I probably took like hours. Three weeks later. Now that is all my dead hair. It was a lot. So now I didn't got all of the tangling out. I'm just gonna wash it one more time. I think that's this is the fourth time that I'm washing my hair. Having fun. Um, I'm just rinsing it all out now. Now I'm gonna condition it. I'm just gonna get it all in there. Yes, yes. And I'm just gonna comb it out one more time. It's pretty much already combed out, so this is it's going through pretty easy this time, but I just want to get the rest of the dead hair that I didn't get the first few times. So just to make sure that when I get out, I'm all set and good in the hood. Yes. Ooh, that felt good. Mm. What in it? Oh, yes. Get it, girl. Get it. Yeah. So that took a while, y'all. Just washed my hair. So now I'm just gonna do a simple braid out just so that my hair can remain moisturized overnight so that when I get up in the morning, I don't really have to do anything to it because it's Chicago and it's almost winter time. So I can't really like wet my hair right before I go in the morning. I mean, I can, but it'll be bad. And I kind of have a cold right now. So it's probably not best to go out with a wet head, you know? So I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little routine I do. It's super simple. If you know how to braid your own hair, you can do it. And even if you don't know how to braid your own hair, like, um, yeah, I don't know what I was going with that. But if you know how to like French braid your own hair, this is something simple that you can do. You don't have to be a professional braider or anything like that. Like if you know how to just grip it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, you, you'll be good. So without further ado, let's get started. 